it's gonna be a very pinky um, rose type of look. I'm gonna start out with priming. I'm using the Professional Primer. This is more like of a get ready with me because I am going on a date with my boyfriend and I have this look in mind. So I'm just going to create it while filming. As you can tell, I'm in a new location. That is because I'm in New York City now. I was filming YouTube videos in DC, but now I'm back at the apartment and able to film here for the first time. How exciting. I'm using the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. I really like this. It's so cheap, but it works so well. The, the texture of the product when you put it on your face, it's very glue-like, but that's what makes it really good. I'm gonna try something out. I haven't used this in a long time. I should have returned it when I didn't really know how to make it look good, but I have it now. It's past the return date. This is the NARS um, Barbuda, Bar Barbuda, that sounds odd, Barbuda. Um, what is it? Oh, okay, this is the NARS Tinted Glow Booster in Barbuda. Am I saying that right? It does not sound right whatsoever. I think it just makes my skin look super muddy and like not good. Just the way it spreads out. It's just, it doesn't spread even. It's very patchy. Clings onto dry spots because I do have eczema. Like, see, I'm looking in the viewfinder and it just, I don't like how it looks. I, I am on the paler side right now, so I'm going to be using the Chanel Les Beige Healthy Glow Foundation, this. And it's in BD21. And I'm just going to take like two pumps of it on the back of my hand. Just, I'm using the viewfinder because I don't have a mirror. I'm not in my bathroom, so can't really see what I'm doing, which is always a good thing. And I'm just blending this out with a beauty blender because I don't want too much coverage and this will help take away some of it. All right, so I only really use a pump of foundation and this is what it looks like. It looks really nice. I like it a lot. And so I'm gonna use my Dior foundation foundation on Dior concealer, the concealer I always use. I'm just using a, a tad, not a lot, on areas where I want to lighten and brighten. So that's the corner of my mouth. Because I have TMJ, I tend to clench my jaw, and so that creates these like jowl lines right there, which really annoy me. So my lips right now are a bit chapped. So I'm gonna put on some chapstick. This is the Nivea watermelon chapstick. Now I'm going to spot conceal because I do have like little marks like hyperpigment hyperpigmentation marks that I want to get rid of. I got extractions. I got a facial like a couple days ago and that was a mistake. I just don't think I should be getting facials um, because I have eczema prone skin. Whatever products they used, just, I broke out. I broke out with eczema, like rashes all over my face. It was so annoying to take care of afterwards. And like my skin looked really, really good when I went into the facial. And now I've just been, <sighs> Back to square one when it comes to trying to fix my skin. <laughs> so it's quite frustrating. Like she did an extraction at the side of my mouth and because I got eczema patch there from her like prodding and putting product over the attractions, I got a uh, rash patch. And because like, you know, you move your mouth a lot and you talk, the skin, cause it was so dry, ripped and so I've been dealing with scabbing on the sides of my mouth and it hurts, it's annoying, and it takes so long to heal because you talk, you smile, you have to move your mouth, and 
it just tears. Every time it heals itself, it tears wide open. It's very frustrating. <laughs> For blush, I'm taking the shade Bliss. As you can tell, I do really enjoy the Rare Beauty blushes. I think you have to be very particular with the shades. If the shade isn't like, it's like not the correct shade for your undertone, for your skin tone, it's like a bitch to blend out. But for me, my, I have very pale skin right now. A shade like Bliss, where it's a very light pink, blends out very seamlessly and easy. But when it comes to a shade like Joy, like look how much darker that is to my skin. I'm just gonna do my brows quickly. I mean, I just, I do it the same way every single time. So you don't really need to see it. And this is the Sicily Press Powder. This is in the shade two. Moving on to, is it gonna focus? Hello. Moving on to highlighter, I'm using the Laura Mercier highlight in the shade 01. It's the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. I'm using this wherever I'm glowing, wherever my, my skin hits the light. And it seems like a bit on my nose in the center as well. I'm gonna be kind of switching off between the Constellation Sky palette and the Modern Renaissance palette. I kind of want to start using the Modern Renaissance palette a little bit more than what I've been, which is, I haven't really touched it in a long time. So in the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Raw Sienna. It's just a nice little transition color. Cute little brown shade. And this I'm just popping on the upper portion of my crease, like way upper. I just want a hint of the shade on my eyelid. I don't need it to be like super intense. Okay, now the Constellation Sky Palette. Somebody's emailing me. Onto the Constellation Sky Palette, I am going to take the shade mm, Mood. This little number right there. I'm gonna concentration. Oh my god, can I speak? No. I'm going to concentrate this color on my lid. Lately, I've been really inspired by Asian beauty, like how they do their makeup. I'm so used to looking at Western makeup or, you know, makeup examples, how I should do my makeup when, you know, I don't have Western eyes. And so the way they do makeup really complements their eye shape, but not so much mine because I like to make my eyes look wider and rounder and bigger while Western now is really into, ironically, my eye shape where it's cat eye or the feline eye, whatever that's called, where it's smaller, more sultry, and I'm not about that. I think it's fun sometimes, and there's some moments where I do want that, but most of the time, I just want nice big eyes. I've never really done the um, Eggio style eye shape thing. Eggio style? Eggio style, I think it's called that. Um, I've never done that in makeup. I might try that today. I think it actually makes it look a little bit bigger. I'm gonna take the shade Orbit and Jungmi. Probably not saying that correctly, but with a little pencil brush, going to put this on my lash line very lightly, winging it out slightly, barely, just kind of creating a shadow almost. I'm gonna bring that on my outer four, like the quarter of my bottom lash line, like just keeping it really tight. So I'm going to use this Thrive Cosmetics black eyeliner. Minimal amount of eyeliner. Like, look at that, I did like two dots. And now I'm gonna take the smudging brush. I want to make it look like I'm not even wearing eyeliner. This eyeliner, I'm gonna use it as a base. So I'm gonna put some eyeshadow over this. So I'm gonna take a nice little flat brush. Can you see that? I'm gonna take the shade Bummy, smudge that over the already smudged eyeliner. So now the fun part, we're gonna wing it out. And this is gonna be a very Asian inspired wing, as in not like 
cat eye wing, but more as a tiny little flick. See, very minimal. I'm just kind of going with the shadow that my eye is already creating. Take whatever's left over on this brush, the boomy shade. I'm gonna put that right where my little fat sack is, I guess. Now I'm gonna take a nice little shimmer shade, which is I'm gonna use Vermeer from this palette. So this is a nice little satin shade that really enhances the fat sack. <laughs> um, I'm going to take the shade Ritz from ColourPop and pop that. So use the same pencil brush and throw that over. So it creates a beautiful glittery texture. I love to use the shade alone and also as a topper, but because I have the Pony palette, she loves her glitter as well. And so I'm going to take the shade Nebula, which is this shade, and put that on my finger and lightly put it on my lid. it right along here and now I'm going to use a bit of this blush color that right here just to enhance the cheeks a bit right over where we put the liquid blush I'm going to put on this Chanel lipstick Cecile. This is a beautiful lipstick and it lasts a really long time. Like when I apply it, I don't have to reapply it. I don't know how it just stays on, but it does. Especially when you pair it with the Chanel lip liner. Perfect pair, like match made in heaven. Now I'm gonna use, ooh, <laughs> I just like went in there. Um, I'm going to use the Monsieur Big Lancome Mascara. I have used only solely the Hourglass Unlocked mascara for like months now. And I think this needs a bit of love. So this was a pretty like pinky date night makeup look. And I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.